माय डियर बॉडीज वेलकम बैक टू विकास राजमाला मोटरसाइकिल पॉडकास्ट विद तरुण so in the last episode we discussed that practicality i mean with regards to practicality is a single cylinder better in india or a parallel twin? parallel twin okay and we concluded single is better in india yes bro okay now we are going to discuss forget about practicality only pure reliability reliability now what is reliability reliability is simple how long will the engine run yes bro okay now you bought a brand new motorcycle from the showroom Zero kilometers ridden, and I I have to mention this again and again. If a showroom is giving you a motorcycle, which is even ten kilometers done, throw it on their face. It should be zero kilometers done. Even the P D I pre delivery inspection, inspection should be done in front of you, and those people should not charge you a penny for pre delivery inspection because these days there's another scam going on which we will discuss soon that people nice are bro. charging for pre delivery inspection. Okay, nice bro. We'll talk about that also. Let me write it down. I'll write it down. Remember that. Yes. So. Okay, so you buy a motorcycle zero kilometers on the road. Okay, from that moment, if you treat her well, see riding fast is not a problem. Yes, bro. Maintaining it is a correct. Yeah. Bro. First thing is the warm up. Okay, most important thing. This is where engines get destroyed. Ninety percent people. It could be summer. It could be winter. Winter you have to be way more careful. Okay. Start up the motorcycle. Warm we discussed. Up. Yeah, we already made a video. A lot of people commented in that video, bro. A lot of people <laughs> appreciated this podcast also. Yes. They don't know like uh, how prop we we uh, we said about how properly we have to do the warm up. Correct. So make sure you do the warm up well. Okay. And only after she is at a temperature where you can ride hard. and most of the people they ask how we know that's a proper temperature and these days every motorcycle have that thermostat sensor you will get the temperature reading or else the points on the odo just maintain one or two points or like minimum uh, minimal temperature that company recommended correct yeah bro or worst case if you don't have a temperature gauge on your motorcycle if it's winters sit on the motorcycle keep the motorcycle center crank her up 5 minutes if it's yeah, winter bro. At idle RPM, let her run for five minutes. Nice, bro. You're good. Okay. Summers one minute. One minute is enough, bro. It's already forty degrees Celsius. So yeah. Bro. All right. So if you warm her up well, do oil change on regular intervals, whatever it could be, five thousand, seven thousand, ten thousand, yeah. you know, depending on uh, the manufacturer recommendation. Then, uh, and next. If you don't do that shit, people do not. We started and revved, bro. Suddenly. I mean, any time they hit the rev limiter in a very shameful manner. Yeah, bro. You know, oh, rev limiter is there to simply make sure that you don't cross the over limit. rev it yeah. where uh, the valves could hit the piston and that's the point where company set the limit. Correct. Yeah, bro. Okay. Some people think that is nice music. No, if the motorcycle makes sound like whoa, whoa, that is music. Yeah, But not like, at like, the red line only. Actually, motorcycles oh. will get destroyed, bro, because it's cutting off uh, the fuel or else the spark. Correct. So, so, so don't do that. Yes, okay. Bro. So if you don't do all of these things and ride, okay, ride hard, no problem. Okay. The simple tip is that if your motorcycle red lines at ten thousand. Try to not go beyond about eight thousand five hundred. Eight thousand five hundred. Yeah. Once in a while you go. Once in a while, even if you hit the electronic rev limit, it's okay. It's okay, bro. Once in a while, it's okay because everyone want to go to the limit <laughs> once a while. So once a while, it's okay, but not every time. Every gear Correct. when you shift, don't hit the limit. Correct. <laughs> yeah, bro. So go till about eight thousand five hundred. That's eighty percent change of the maximum. Rev limit, rev limit, and uh, uh, you shift, yes, keep bro. shifting up. So this way, if you do all of this, then a reliable engine should run. Uh, a single should run forty, fifty thousand. Forty, fifty thousand easily. easily, easily, bro. Right. Yeah, bro. Before the piston uh, and cylinder wear out. Yes, Correct. Now here is where the twin cylinder shines. <laughs> Correct. Because if fifty thousand is not much, in case you are a regular tourer, 
Yeah, bro. Correct. So you'll be done with the fifty thousand probably in a year itself. Fifty thousand in a year? No, I don't think so, bro. People. Some crazy tourer. A tourer. Yeah, tourer. They'll do it. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Not a normal person. Normal person. Yeah, yeah. person no. Normal person will take probably three, four years. Yeah, three, four years. So. Now, what do you think a twin cylinder will really taken care of? Can do how many kilometers before the piston bore need replacement? If you maintain it really good, properly maintenance, warm ups, everything, then easily it will last more than close to two lakh kilometers without an issue. Wow! More than that also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twin cylinders are made in that way, bro. They engineered in that way, and also when you have twin cylinders, two cylinders, the stress is going to be less on the pistons, crank. So all these internal parts will have a uh, longer period. Correct. You know, for correct. So Absolutely. Almost same quality uh, they'll use even if you take a single cylinder, high compression, high power, like high revving engine as three ninety. And if you take a twin cylinder like uh, the latest one, Aprilia RS four five seven, both of the engines, the internal uh, quality is going to be almost same because both of uh, all these companies, mm. uh, high performance engines, uh, companies will use a very high quality material, uh, material metal inside. and all of that. Yeah, yeah. people mm. will think like single cylinder. If you take three ninety two, it won't last more than forty fifty thousand kilometers. Thing is, it's all about the single single uh, piston, single. Uh, I mean, cutting kind of rod. All the these parts are ta- uh, taking the all the stress of that uh, engine. Correct. But if you take a uh, twin cylinder, uh, both the pistons, both the con rods, and uh, uh, when you made a twin cylinder, they will also make uh, balances. Everything is also in a proper way that the engine won't uh, vibrate a lot. Correct. Yeah, bro. So it's like uh, it's not about engine quality, bro. It's about Twin has separate the twin configuration itself has the more reliability than the single stress cylinder. management. Yeah, stress basically. management, bro. So here I'll give a technical, uh, uh, you know, statement and also a philosophical statement. So it's like if there are five members in your family, and if one person has to work to take care of the family, to earn money, feed the family, it's going to be a lot of stress on one person, right? Yeah, lot of stress. But if there are three people working in the family or two people working in the family. The stress is distributed. Very Correct? good example, bro. Correct. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> it's like if one person has to earn in between one to two lakhs in a month to take care of a family, the person has to s- struggle, stress. 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 Okay. Yeah, bro. But if there are two people, both are earning seventy thousand, eighty thousand a month, and if one person falls sick for a month or so, also other person is still earning. So it's like you distribute the stress. Yeah, okay. bro. Okay. Next, the technical thing is that it's very simple. See, it's all about the combustion stroke. Okay, combustion stroke. I'll explain. There are four strokes. When the piston goes down, it is called induction. That is where the valve intake valve opens and it takes in a mix of air fuel mixture. Air fuel. Okay, and it goes down. The whole cylinder is filled and it comes up again. It is called compression. Compression. So, this is where the air and fuel is compressed. According to the compression ratio, if the compression ratio is one is to ten, then one unit of that air fuel mix is compressed ten times. Ten times. If the compression ratio is one is to thirteen, then that fuel ratio is compressed thirteen times. That's a lot of compression. And at this stage, the spark is ignited by the spark plug at the top. So there is a bang. It is as known bro. as a combustion, combustion stroke. stroke. Yeah. So at this. Point the engine produces power. Till now, it exactly. was not producing any power. It was running on inertia. Okay. Nice bro. So when it produces power, literally there's a bang, there's an explosion, boom, and the piston goes down. When it goes down, okay, there's extreme amount of load on the connecting rod, which is exactly below the piston. Yeah, bro. Okay. The connecting rod goes and connects to the crank. Crank. Okay. So now. Plus, the piston is uh, bigger. Okay, it's moving up and down. Yeah, bro. That produces more vibration, more okay. heat, more heat, because the combustion stroke is bigger, right? Yeah, bigger bro, combustion yeah, is happening. So more heat means more wear and tear yes, inside bro, the exactly. engine. So here, if there are 
twin cylinders. Twin cylinders. Smaller combustion stroke. Yeah, bro. Instead of that uh, Sutli bomb, <laughs> there'll be that Lakshmi bomb. And also, say them one example, bro. As mm. you said, uh, discussed in previous videos. Mm. If a single cylinder is 400 cc, one piston is 400 cc. If a 400 cc is a twin cylinder, each uh, cylinder 200, is 200 cc. Yeah. So, you can already know like what the stress is going to be taken and all. Correct. Yeah, bro. So, here, at every given point of time, one cylinder is only taking the stress of a 200 cc, not a 400 cc. Yeah, bro. Okay. So, she can go on and on for a much, much longer, longer time. Longer time, yeah. Okay. As simple as cars. Most of the cars, even a basic Maruti, will run about 3 lakh kilometers. 3, three four lakh kilometers. Yeah, you know. Why? Because Pistons. it's 1000 cc, 4, four cylinders, cylinders, 250 cc each. Yeah, bro, exactly. And the RPMs are not high. They won't go. Up. Lower RPMs. So, stress is very, very, very low. Yeah, bro. So, bottom line is that single cylinder will go through a lot of stress. Twin cylinder will distribute the stress yeah, and... Uh, it will last longer, engine wise. Got it. And also, heat is uh, heat is also going to be a little bit less on a parallel twin compared to a single cylinder. Significantly lesser. Right? Yeah, bro. Correct. So, here, the bottom line is that uh, parallel twin or any like a three cylinder, four cylinder... It's better. Yeah, bro. You know? But in India, unfortunately, buying a four-cylinder, we will have to, you know, <laughs> pay yeah, just bro. too much money. Too much money. For okay. Uh, so, forget about that. So, singles, hmm, yeah. singles are not that reliable compared to... Basically, they wear out, wear out much faster than uh, twin. So, I mean, I've, I've uh, uh, ridden the R3 yeah, a lot in my life and I love the R3. Uh, I've ridden the singles also, the KTMs. When it comes to riding, which one do you feel like aggressive and like... Aggressive, uh, of course. Uh, see, there are three bands. Low end, mid range, top, top end. Now, what does it mean? So, if the RPM is up to 10,000, low end will be about three to 4,000. Yeah, bro. Okay. Where you put in the first gear and you move forward. Uh, yeah. Bro. There, singles produce a lot of Dark, but this they are harsh yeah, they are rough harsh. and yeah. <laughs> they, they make not so good sound and there's a lot of vibration yeah bro, okay. like bigger cc uh, single cylinder yeah. like uh, the balancing is not going to be as smooth as a correct. twin cylinder you feel a lot of vibes in your handlebar and all correct yeah bro next is the mid range mid range is say from 3500 to 7000 rpm Mid range is the most important thing. Yeah. Because when you're on the highway or slightly free roads, you'll not be in the low end, right? Yeah. You'll be in the mid range. Mid range. Okay. So mid range, uh, the single or the twin actually doesn't matter so much. You know? Almost they're both similar. <laughs> both, yeah, both, both feel similar. similar. On the low end, z- zero RPM to, I mean zero means <laughs> the mean, idle uh, RPM <laughs> to uh, 3500 3, RPM, the parallels feel very smooth. Yeah, bro. They move forward also in a very smooth very manner. Smooth way, yeah, bro. So, low end. Single cylinder, it's going to be... Torque, I give it to the single. But smoothness, I give it to the parallel. Okay. Okay. Mid-range, both are very similar. Now, here. High end. High end is basically 7000 plus RPM to all the way till uh, red line. Singles again struggle there. Mm-hmm. I mean, parallel, twin has, uh, parallel twins are good, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Single wheel is like, ah, please, please, stop, stop, stop. stop, stop. No, 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 come on. I can't do it anymore. Like, ah. If you have a twin cylinder at red line, it, it really feels like a... You, you she's, feel she's that, saying, you feel that do it more, cycle. man. Yeah, come on, I love it. The only place where you feel twin cylinder, that uh, full pleasure is about higher RPMs. 90% of the RPM you should be riding in the fourth gear. Yeah, bro. Not the sixth gear. Four or fifth gear, you should be riding... And uh, I used to do that yeah, with bro. the R3. I used to ride only in 5th gear. People used to ask 5th, uh, so 6th gear, move up to 6th. Uh, it's too boring to yeah, be in 6th gear. So I used to be in 5th. Literally be like two 300 RPM lesser yeah, than the, the red line. Yeah, bro. And she, she was that girlfriend who used to say, 
come on let's do it because you know keep you'll going ne- you'll, you'll never, never let uh, your throttle down bro twin cylinder high rpms it's going to be very good yeah, yeah i mean the whole thing no vibration nothing like whoosh, and also bro like mm. uh, sorry to disturb bro mm. like, so twin cylinder bro uh initially like when you start the motorcycle it doesn't feel like a like big bike it also sounds like yeah. almost similar like a single like like not that uh, yeah, like inline four kind of thing and all correct but a tread line will definitely feel this that feels like a good super bike like, feels like sports definitely yeah, 100% and correct higher revs you will definitely feel that full what, what you want to hear from the parallel twin you can hear it in the higher revs if you have um, the r3 that i was riding had an akropovich ah oh, bro oh beauty man i mean oh, yeah, i was bro. of course focusing a lot on riding but i could still hear her scream yeah, vikas <laughs> go for it <laughs> yeah bro yeah. Oh man true true I mean the best thing is that uh, if you can uh, afford it buy both buy, yeah, <laughs> buy a twin and buy a single yeah, no? yeah, bro, yeah bro. so use the twin lesser for city rides and all this yeah bro uh, you use the twin only when you want to enjoy like have On fun high way and all correct and uh, single Because for city mm-hmm. if you get a 3400 cc again twin cylinder uh, when in signal suddenly you want to go little bit, you want that power mm. you won't feel again you'll feel the same thing like why i got this bike this bike is even mm. though it's parallel when it's not pulling you have to rev her up so like mm. uh, for city and all like single cylinder you can use it but uh, you'll only enjoy the twin cylinder when you take it on the highway absolutely yeah bro highway race track you know good that is the reason i thought of buying the aprilia also no yeah bro you know but oh my god anyway that's a different story So what you made the video but you made the video now bro it reached to lot of people bro a lot of people Thank are you. facing the same issue refund they also yeah. said like vikas bro said the the thing we are all facing so most of them also getting refunds bro yeah Thank you, bro. Everyone said. Thank you. Thank you. To, to share, thank you. If someone is selling it pre-owned, <laughs> yeah, please bro. tell me you'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, it's it's so late to launch the bikes, also, bro. Mm. And in in the site also, it was saying like it's limited quant quantity only. What Something limited like. quantity? Fashion shop, is it? No, They'll give only a few. <laughs> uh, they have mentioned something like limited, limited. I don't know why they kept limited bookings only. We'll discuss about this in the next. Uh, video podcast we're going to discuss if the RS457 Aprilia is going to be successful in India or not yeah bro we want every motorcycle brand to be successful in India but practically is it going to be successful or not we're going to discuss now in the next podcast yeah, so bro. thank you buddies for watching any last line you want to say tarun nothing bro okay yeah, bro. so as you know tarun has a workshop of his yeah, own bro. okay and if you have any questions technical questions his phone number would be in the description of this video and send if you a, want any services also you can absolutely. text down on whatsapp absolutely yeah. send a whatsapp message to him okay and uh, uh, ask him anything with regards to motorcycles a lot of you, people are asking about your contact number bro please say them my contact number <laughs> yeah a lot of people yeah asking. like uh, can i share you, it do one thing you take the number and yeah, connect bro. okay okay done okay done, bro. Done. yeah because see i sleep in the daytime yeah. you know so in case someone calls me then it becomes difficult schedule for me to... is very tight yeah. so you, you guys have to understand <laughs> i work about i 18... cannot ask because bro someone is calling you so... i work for about 18 hours a day so yeah, i love it yeah bro. so awesome you know so as you know you can contact tarun with regards to technical questions and service we are in hyderabad yeah, uh, uh, the workshop is in alwal you can find it in google maps motor god garage you can find it yeah Do like subscribe share and we'll see you in the next podcast yeah